Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is me telling you all the books I'm going to be reading in September, or at least trying to read. So last month in August I played Bookopoly, which is just a game where you set up a Bookopoly board, it's just like Monopoly, and you roll and wherever you land you have to read the genre or the prompt or whatever that is. And I had a lot of fun doing that and I was going to do it in September as well, but I've been kind of stressed going back to work and I realized that I just, like in order for me to read while I'm at work, well not at work, but you know, while I'm back at work, in order for me to read in my free time, it really needs to be books that I want to read at the moment that I'm in the mood for. I'm more of a mood reader, I guess, when I'm at work, just because I got a lot of holds that were in from the library that I've been waiting for for a while. And I just really have a lot of books that need to be read for this month. And since I can't read as many books now that I'm back at work, I really had to like prioritize what I was going to do. So I'm not doing Bookopoly for September. Instead, I just created a TBR pile of things that like I need to get read in September because because I already had like buddy reads planned or you know videos planned or whatever it may be. I do have a pretty big list and I've I've tried to like make it smaller but like I just have a lot of books that I need to read for this month. So, I'm hoping to get to them all, but I'm also going to be participating in contemporary a thon. Let's just go ahead and get into the actual September TBR video. This is actually going to be just what I'm reading that's not included in contemporary a thon. I will come up with a different TBR video for that when it gets closer, probably like a week beforehand. All right, so the first book that I'm going to be reading for the month of September is because I'm actually doing a buddy read with Gabby from Gabby Reads, and we're gonna be doing a live show, hopefully the second week of September. We're trying to get this book read in the first week of September so that way we can do the live show in the second but we have to make sure we can both do it with our like work schedules and stuff but we're going to be reading The Arrangement by Robin Harding. This is actually going to be my first Robin Harding book which is crazy because I actually have her pretty face over on my bookshelf. I just keep not reading it. I don't know why, but this one I could not wait to get a hold of. I actually was able to do a book swap for this, which was super, super awesome. And so this is an ARC copy, but this book has come out already. Um, but we're really, really excited because this is about like a sugar daddy scenario. It is a thriller. It says love for money, what could go wrong? Um, but it is like a sugar daddy type of thing. So I think um, this girl decides that she needs a sugar daddy and then the person that actually becomes her sugar daddy, he actually has a family that he has like no intention of leaving and she starts going like crazy, I guess. And so like, she's like, I don't know if she's stalking him or what it is, but he has to like shut that shit down. So I am super excited to read about this because I'm not exactly sure if the book is written from her perspective, but I love like an unreliable narrator or like maybe this girl, you know, I don't know, like, is she crazy? Do we just think she's crazy? I, I have no clue, but I am super excited to read this. The next buddy read that I have to do for this month is 13 by Steve Cavanaugh. I'm sorry, there's another dog barking outside. So Graham is barking and I keep stopping and refilming this, but like, he's just gonna keep barking, whatever, naughty boy. So anyway, I am buddy reading this with Shelby from Shelby Taggart Reads, and we are doing what we call Thriller Talks After Dark. And this is the first one that we've been doing. So this is gonna be our September read and discuss. We will be discussing on an Instagram live because at the moment we can't figure out how to do the YouTube live thing because of, I don't know, Google Hangouts and stuff is like, going away, but hopefully in the future we can do a discussion on YouTube instead, which would be super ideal. This is about where I guess the murderer or the serial killer isn't on trial, he's on the jury. That's really all I know about this book, but I am excited to read it. I was a little worried because I'm not really a detective thriller type of person, but a lot of people said that even though they weren't that way, they still really, really loved this book. And even though it's the fourth in a series, I think it's the fourth in a series, you can read it as a standalone. So I will be reading it as a standalone. I am really, really excited because this is the first like buddy read I'm doing with Shelby and I really love her channel. I have that link down below as well as Gabby's as well. Um, and so I'm really excited to be doing this and do a live discussion with them. So yay. 
Yay! The next book I have on my list is The Night Olivia Fell, and I actually am a little bit through this already. I started listening to the audiobook, and so I'll probably be listening to the audiobook like throughout the month, but this is the last book that I have on my five star predictions video. And so I really wanna get through this book this month and then that way I can make a reaction to that five star predictions video and make a new five star predictions video because I already have like books written down for it. And so I really just need to get through this. This I think is about this girl. She falls off a bridge or they're not sure if someone like threw her off a bridge or what exactly is going on. But her mom finds out that she's pregnant, like the, the daughter is on life support in the hospital and the doctor was like, yeah, she's like 18 weeks pregnant or something like that. So we're reading about, I guess, how she becomes pregnant, what is happening, all of the secrets and, you know, all of that type of stuff that's normally in a thriller. So I, you know, I, I don't really have many thoughts about it yet because I'm like 40 pages into it. A lot of people have said it's really good. So I am excited to get through this for this month. The next book that I'm going to read, and it's actually one of the monthly discussions in my book club. If you want to join my book club, the link is down below. And so we have a couple different books that we do a monthly discussion for. They usually change genres, but this one I believe is for the sci-fi this month. And it is John Mars, The Passengers. I read the one when it came out, I think like two years ago, or was that last year? I don't even remember, but it was pretty good. It was like a four star read for me. And a lot of people say that this is amazing. They say it's like an episode of Black Mirror, which I love Black Mirror so much. It's one of my favorite TV shows. And so I cannot wait to read this. I actually bought this book and so I definitely need to read it since I spent the money on it. But I think this is like a smart car type of thing. It says you're riding in your self-driving car when suddenly the doors lock, the route changes and you have lost all control. Then a mysterious voice tells you, you are going to die. So it says just as self-driving cars are becoming the trusted safer norm, eight people find themselves in this terrifying situation, including a faded TV star, a pregnant young woman, an abusive Used wife fleeing her husband, an immigrant, a husband and wife, and a suicidal man. Then there's cameras that are broadcasting this to millions of people. Oh my gosh, but the public will show their true colors when they are asked which of these people should we save and who should we kill first. I don't even think I had read the synopsis of this book before I even bought it. I'm pretty sure all I knew was that people were saying it was amazing and it was about like self-driving cars. Whoa, I might have to read this book like tomorrow because this sounds amazing. The next book that I have on my list to read is The Chain by Adrienne McKinty. I believe that this is a debut book for this author um, because I don't think I've seen anything by her before, but I've heard really good things about this. I was waiting for a really long time at the library and it just came in. So that's why it is on my September TBR because I don't wanna not read it and then have to wait months to read it again. And I've heard that this is a great psychological thriller. So this is about this lady that drops off her daughter at school. She gets a phone call from another mother saying that she has like the daughter like abducted and like tied up and that the mother I forget so Kylie I think is the Kylie is the little kid and Rachel is the mother so she's telling Rachel that she in order to get her like daughter back Kylie she has to go and kidnap like another child and pay a ransom or something like that. And then like, it, you know, then she'll have to do it. And then the next person has to do it. Like it's, you know, like the chain reaction type of thing where it's like, oh, a chain letter, but usually it's a good thing. Well, this is a bad thing. So like mothers are having to kidnap a child in order to get their child back from the kidnapper. Or I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what this book is about. And it sounds freaking crazy. I feel like I'm having such a good reading month. Like all these books sound amazing. It says the rules are simple. Find the money, find your victim, and then commit a horrible act you'd have thought yourself incapable of just 24 hours ago. So can she be the one to finally break the chain? 
I cannot wait to read this. I am having the problem where I don't know what book I'm reading first this month. The last book on my September TBR, not including Contemporary Thon, is Digital Minimalism, Choosing a Focused Life in a Noisy World. And I actually wanted to read this for Bookopoly because I had to read like three or four nonfiction books last month. And I do love nonfiction books, but I really wanted to read this one, but it hadn't come into the library yet. So it finally came in. So I'm just adding it to my September TBR. And I am super excited about this, especially with me going back to work. It's really hard for me to juggle everything that I have to get done and keep up with all the social media. And I'm then, you know, I'm scrolling on Facebook for hours when I should be doing something else. So I'm really excited about this. So it just says how it has like common sense tips like turning off notifications, an occasional ritual like observing a digital Sabbath, which I've been wanting to do for a really long time. I've been wanting to do like one day where I just am not on my phone or on my computer and I can just like read or whatever it may be. Um, and so that's super exciting. And it says to attempt to unplug completely when you're around family or work. And so it's just about literally living a focused life in an increasingly noisy world. So I am really excited about this because I feel like even if I don't apply everything in this book, maybe I'll get some type of calmness, I guess, on some days because sometimes I'm just like really overwhelmed. It happens like just depending upon, like I was fine during the summer because I wasn't working, but now that I'm back at work, it's just like all of the notifications that I have coming in, it's just super overwhelming. And so it would be nice if I could just do like one day a week where I am not like, I don't care if my phone is going off. Like I don't have to go stop what I'm doing and go run to it to see like what someone commented on something. And I know a lot of people deal with it too. It's not just myself. And so I'm really, really looking forward to reading this book. So, and I've heard really great things actually. One of my friends recommended it to me. So I think it's gonna be a really good book. All right, so that is it for my September TBR that's not including Contemporaryathon. I'm going to be trying to read about three to four books for Contemporaryathon. And even though they are gonna be contemporary, they're probably also going to be some of them are gonna be slightly thriller-ish. So even if you're like, ew, who reads contemporary? I really hope that you watch that future TBR video and my vlog of me doing it. And so I'm just really, really excited. I think September is gonna be a great reading month. I just cannot wait. I literally picked like the best books ever in the world to read. So let me know down in the comments like what you're reading for September. What are you most excited about? Or have you already read some of these books that I have on my TBR? Let me know were they good or not good? I don't, I don't know. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did, because it supports my channel and I will see you all in another video. Bye everyone.